me how about the difference between how men and women age. I think men age much slower than women. I think they get old a lot later than women do. I think they don't show wrinkles. I don't know whether it's because they shave all the time. My husband didn't have a wrinkle in his face and he was over 80 when he died. Why do you think you've lived to this age, especially if your parents didn't have long, long lives? I think it's mostly determination on my part. I'm determined uh, to live and to do what I can, take care of myself and not depend on anybody. I figured as long as God wanted me to live, I would live because I believe in God very, very much. It's my house and uh, my house is paid for. It costs me less to live here than if I went into a place for assisted living because I have looked. My son and I went a couple of years ago, but I'm so used to it. My husband was a pharmacist. We had our own drugstore. I worked with him out of the 36 years that we were in business. Although we had, we had one credo in our store, in our business, that you never discussed religion and you never discussed politics. And we got along. We had the most wonderful, wonderful people as customers. And we probably would have still been there if he hadn't had his head split open twice. And he just came home one night, threw the keys on the table, said, I've had it. I don't know whether I'm going to face a gun the next time or a knife. We, we decided that we have a house here. And uh, it was all paid for. So we decided that we'd come down here to live all year round. My husband loved the water. He loved the beach. That's the way we lived our life. And so that when he died, where else was I going to go? This was my house, my home. I lost all my friends that I had here. Most of my friends have gone. They've died. They've moved. Uh, some of them I correspond with. Some of them I don't. And uh, it's become a lonely life. I've never been lonely before. But as I get older, it seems to me that I miss people. Because I've been with people all my life. And I love people. I love being with people. I love to talk to people. To this day, I'm still in touch with one of the couple, couple of the kids that grew up in our store. I make the best of what I do. I try my best to keep my house picked up. I have wonderful, wonderful memories. My life is full of memories ever since I was a youngster. Well, I was born and brought up in born and brought up in Roxbury, Massachusetts. I had, I had, a, I had wonderful, wonderful parents, and their the utmost thought in their minds. My mother worked hard. My father worked hard. They wanted the kid. We, there were only two of us, but they wanted both of us to have an I education. I graduated from high school in '27, and before it, we turned around. The depression started in, in late 28, 29, 30, and my brother was coming up after me, and I knew that it was more important for him to go to college right then and there than it was for me. Worked for an attorney. I went to work for an attorney. I got a job as a secretary, a legal secretary, and I went to school nights. I went to Porsche Law School at night. My husband was like my father. Uh, he didn't have a bad bone in his body. And I even remember the dress I wore. I wore a brown crepe dress with a long sleeve. And the following week, he called me for a date. He was just what the doctor ordered. He was tall, dark, and handsome. He was married October 8, 1931. 62 years. It takes a lot of compromise. And you have to listen to each other. You have to not be able to talk. You have to be able to listen. I worked with him. I was used to working with him after we got married, uh, after we ended up with our own business. We had our own drugstore. I mean, he runs his side of the business. He's a pharmacist. I take care of the front of the store. And uh, when I had help, we had a fountain. 
and I used to watch that fountain religiously, make sure the kids kept it clean. I watched news and I watched game shows. I like them. Mm. Read a paper, I read books. See that box of books under there? My brother sent me a box of books. He was afraid I didn't have enough books to read. This is Sue Scheibel, staff reporter for the Patriot Ledger and Gatehouse Media New England. For more coverage, see the Good Age column in today's newspaper or go to patriotledger.com.